Warning, the following content is extremely sexually explicit in its nature. I recommend that if you are not married or perhaps about to get married, this video might not be for you. Viewer discretion is advised and parents, please control your kids because they should not be watching this. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. School is in session. Ladies and gentlemen, as you read from the title, man oh man, today's going to be a good one, inshallah. Uh, as the warning suggested, if you are not married or not getting married very soon, meaning you've already found someone, if you're still looking, I'm not going to say this video is for you. Maybe it is for you, I don't know. But if you're like a young kid, it's definitely not for you. The things that we're going to be talking about this video are going to be quite sexually suggestive like nothing too crazy but you know crazy enough for your ears okay i'll let your parents decide when you're ready for that uh, but this is for the grown folk okay the grown folk not the like the people ready to learn and listen to something that's not spoken about really uh, at least I, I, i'm aware of um so if you're grown folk stay if you're not a grown folk, it's time for you to go. Catch me in the other video, okay? I did wear a panda onesie so that I'm not coming off as threatening. Hold on. This doesn't mean it's children friendly. It just means that my wife gave me a panda onesie this morning. Hence, I'm wearing it. Alrighty. Class is in session, boys and girls. Sexual Intimacy 101. Today's lesson. Maybe like this is like an every Sunday thing I do. I'm thinking about it. It sounds good. Because these are reminders to myself as well. But anyways, today's session is how to please your wife or how to sexually please your wife. I might choose one of these in the title. I'll probably pick how to sexually please your wife because it just sounds fudder, right? But my advice is going to shock you. It's going to shock you nonetheless. I brought this strawberry right here, not because it's an aphrodisiac, but because I gave my children strawberries. So I'm like, I want a strawberry too. Bismillah. I found out this is because it could stain your teeth. Some of you have noticed that my teeth are very white, mashallah. That's not by mistake, that's by design. I get them whitened. So, just letting you know out there. Your favorite YouTubers won't tell you that. Okay, we're here now. Hands are free, gloves are off, panda outfit is on. Sexual intimacy 101. Let me tell you where the inception and inspiration for this uh, series has come from. So a young brother came to my uh, hijama clinic for hijama. And, um, you know, we were doing regular hijama. At the end of it, he started asking me questions about um, hijama for a sexuality or something, you know. Something around that nature. Can't remember if it was some time ago. And uh, he, he was telling me that, you know, like he, he needs to, you know, for something for sexuality. I said, What's going on, bro? The first thing I'm thinking is that maybe you can't get it up. That's just the facts of it, right? Maybe you just can't get it up. He's like, no, no, no. He said, recently I got married. I'm thinking he shouldn't have a problem getting it up, right? He just got married. You know, you're a virgin. They're a virgin, more than likely. You know, not that everyone is. Like, I understand things happen. But for them, for their situation, they're both virgins. So, my bro, what's the problem? He's like, it's premature ejaculation. And I'm sitting there like, okay. Whoa, there was no warning here. All right, he just, he just said it. But that's a good sign. I, I feel like people open up to me a lot. And that's a, that's a gift that I have. It's, 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 it's a blessing, obviously, from Allah. But people just willing to tell me that. And believe me, I could have spoken to him in the masjid. He probably would have told me that, right? And that's just because he's in my hijama clinic, nonetheless. But that's the sort of stuff that people come to my clinic for. And that's the reason I really essentially opened it, you know, for things like that to happen. Okay, anyways, let's... Go back to this. <clears throat> so I started asking some questions. Like, hey, what, what's, 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 what's the issue? What's the problem? He's just like, it just comes quick. That's just what it is. He just, he just comes. Uh, so uh, I was just like, you know, what's going on? So he just went on that route, you know? Some of you are already thinking, man, SQ, you have no haya. 
I do. She's in there eating strawberries right now with her sister. <laughs> Mashallah. Only those who understand that that's my daughter gets the joke. Okay. But I do have Haya. And 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 people at the time of the Messenger Salaam had Haya too. Yet they still felt comfortable coming to him to talk about these things. A lot of us have this taboo culture. It's sad that my video is going to be the first one about this. It's sad, right? That a 30-some-odd-year-old person who's a jahil, who has no education, is talking about it, yet those with far more knowledge than I do haven't really spoken about it, or at least this frankly or openly. Well, this is from the plan of Allah. Allah wanted me to speak about it. Alhamdulillah, let's get into it. So I started asking him questions about, like, you know, how long do you take for foreplay with you and your wife? He said, five minutes. I said, I walked away. <laughs> you see, one thing that I've learned is that there's a lot of assumptions that you can make. Okay? I feel like my videos are generalized, that everyone does this. Let's, let's be honest here. Not everyone does. But he's an indicator to me that this is probably the norm. I'm not saying every one of you watching this, it's true for you. But for a lot of you, it is. See, this is my mathematician side within me. Ask you, where are you? I don't know. I'm just pacing around. Okay, just listen to the sound of my voice. Okay. He said five minutes. I said, bro, what are you doing? He said, what, what, what do you mean? I said, five minutes isn't enough for foreplay. That's not even four. That's not even play. That's, bro, that's nothing. He says, like, what do you mean? I said, bro, you need to set a timer for 25 minutes. He's like, what the hell do you mean? 20 I said, bro, listen to me. Listen to me. You know? This is I think I'm gonna make a separate video about premature ejaculation and all that. I'll I'll make a separate video about that. This is about foreplay and how to sexually please your wife. Or wives for some of you. Saying, I don't know. I don't know. It's out here, guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. All right. Foreplay. Yeah, you see, this is where you have to understand the difference between men and women. You see, for men, we're really just a few strokes in our special areas from just being done. For women, there's a lot more nerve endings, scientifically speaking, for them over there. For us, not so much. You find that one nerve, you're done. And, that, and that's another reason pornography and masturbation is bad for you. Do you understand? Because it can start making you premature. It can do things to you down there because you could be damaging your nerve ending by doing it with your finger. Bro, this is not, I don't care how much lotion, soap, lube you put on this. This is not the same feeling of a vagina. It's a completely different feeling. And you could be damaging yourself by using this. Man, if that's not a good enough reason for us to quit masturbating, Come on now. You understand? Like you need to stay away from those things. It's messing with you, messing with your progress and your stamina perhaps. Okay. Eight minutes into this video. We're going somewhere with this, I hope. <laughs> Either some of you, man, I don't even, I, you know, sometimes I like to think about your perspective while watching it. And I'm just, uh, you know, I, I just I just hope that you guys are <laughs> enjoying these videos. <laughs> I'm enjoying making them, so I hope you're enjoying watching them, whoever you are out there. Uh, you know, I was told once that I couldn't make videos like this. Like, no, people's attention spans are this long, so on and so forth. And I love them for the sake of Allah, nonetheless, whoever's giving me these suggestions. Um, but it was stunting... My personal growth as well. I don't know. Let's get into this video. I said 25 minutes, bro. Stay inside, though. This is grown folk talk. I love you. No, don't come out. Don't come out. I'm saying stay inside. I ate two more strawberries. <laughs> she ate two more strawberries. Let me check the hall of these children. It was a mistake. It was a mistake? You see, some people believe that, like, honestly, sex is just for this. Wait, you had two more strawberries? Okay, listen, I love you. My tongue is and I forgive you. Now go. I love you as well. Did you, wait, wait, time up. Did you eat two more strawberries? Yeah. No, just her? Okay, I love you for not telling on your sister. But come tell your dad next time, okay? Okay, I love you. Go. Go sit over there. Do what? I said sit over there. 
Some people believe that my wife's gone to do laundry. I'm just out here babysitting my children, making this video on the deck while they're inside watching the TV. Oh, that's cute. Your children watch TV? They do. And they've served as learning sponges. Like, my thumbnails are getting better because I feel like I'm learning. I asked my daughter what colors to put on my thumbnail. My, my daughter is an expert at clicking thumbnails. That's what she does all day long. She judges a video based upon the thumbnail, right? So I'm, I'm using her information. Like, what should the thumbnail be? MashaAllah. Honestly, you know, you got to get your loved ones involved in your life. Some people believe, you know, sexual intimacy is what? Sexual intimacy is just to have children. Your parents are putting pressure on you. You just got married. You got married on Friday. By Sunday, your parents and your grandparents and your in-laws are asking for children. What? What the hell? How, you need to have a discussion plan. This, you see, this is why I'm making this video. Because there's so many topics to talk about. In-laws. Another topic about... You know about you know how involved your your parents are in your lives and how involved you guys are in your own lives. Are you each other's best friends? So I was telling him, I'm like, man, listen to me. <laughs> You're like, I see you going on these tangents. I'm like, listen to me, bro. You gotta set a timer for 25 minutes. And I told him, now listen, you gotta do all the things that are halal for you. You need to do them. Think about all those things that were on your mind this whole time until you have a wife, bro. And you got to do them. Do them. She's gonna love it. You guys are gonna enjoy it. But stop being so excited to put the turkey in the oven. You understand? That's where the ejac premature ejaculation and all these things come from. He's like, but bro, sometimes I just do it in my boxers. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. You have a laundry machine. It's cool. So let's suppose you prematurely ejaculate in the first five minutes of your foreplay. It's all good. You have 20 minutes to get your energy level back up to that level. And all that making out and doing stuff is going to help you get back there. I think that that's going to be a separate video, okay? I'm just, I'm just previewing what's going to come to later on, inshallah. Today's episode is how to sexually please your wife. And I can tell you this right now. Like, that's all good. And honestly, your goal should be for your, your spouse, your wife, to have an orgasm. That should be the goal. But I can guarantee you there's so many wives out there who've never had that. They haven't because the husbands are selfish lovers. They're selfish. They just want to put the turkey in the oven and done. That's what they want to do. That's not how it should be done. You understand? And once you have a more mature relationship, a mature marriage, that 25 minutes can shrink because you become really good at knowing her spots, her favorite areas. And I'm telling you this right now that if you are a male, if you're a man, you shouldn't be having sex with the idea in mind that you need to just come. You just can't. That's a, the messenger Salsam was so intimate with his wives. SQ, where's this in Quran and Sunnah? It's there, guys. It's there. I'm wearing a kufi. Don't forget. I might have a panda suit, but I have a kufi on. That means nothing. This doesn't make me a scholar. You understand? These things don't make you scholars. I can, I can have all the knowledge in the world. How does it? I don't even know if that makes me a scholar. Does it? Maybe. Who cares? Like I don't want to be known as a scholar. A YouTube. I just want to be known as that dude who's helped you out. You know? So, if you're making it this far in this video, I think I might have to stop it. I might have to stop. But without telling you this one, I, one, one final thing I want to tell you. Panda, should Panda come back on? I don't know. I'm right here. You're good. Half Panda, half Muslim. All right. <laughs> this is going to be so funny to watch and post. Honest to God, it's going to be so much fun. And I'm just going to do the clicks where it's in and out. It's just fun. I, I enjoy making videos like this. I hope you guys are enjoying watching videos like this. But the number one way to sexually please your wife is by having, and in, in, in sexual intimacy, it's really about having emotional intimacy. And that is the key that's missing out of a lot of relationships. So the sex isn't good for the woman. For the man, it's the same. Right? You're like a, you act like a primitive creature. You just need to come and you don't like roll over and bake me a sandwich. Like, no. You're lacking emotional intimacy. See, for, so for the woman, the sex is already trash. So there's no sexual intimacy. And on top of that, there's no emotional intimacy. Done. You're done. You're in a marriage that is no good for you. You don't like it. 
It's kind of whack. It's kind of boring. You're not happy in your marriage. And this isn't like women, Karelu women coming from Pakistan or from Yemen and they just got to suffer over here. No, like real professional working class people here, women here, dentists, lawyers, like people who are not happy within their marriage. They're just not happy within their marriage because the sexual intimacy is in there, emotional intimacy is in there. And maybe there is some sexual intimacy, but that, that's like the only good thing about your marriage, right? The emotional intimacy is what you want the most, and that's what women want the most. Sexual intimacy is just the gravy on top. Sexual gravy for a woman is the gravy on top. The emotional intimacy is the key for the woman, and the key for the man as well, too, if you want a healthy relationship uh, with your spouse and you don't want it to end up in divorce, which is happening to a lot of people. Happening to a lot of people. Why is it? YouTubers are getting divorced. Maybe that might be a cool uh, topic uh, title. YouTubers who are getting divorced. Dawa ruined my marriage. Could have. Maybe. That's going to be another video title. I'm just thinking out loud. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to come back for this. I'm going to come back for this, inshallah. Let me know in the thoughts in the comment section below uh, how far you made this in the video. Maybe this is my most watched time ever. Maybe this was the key, right? Talking about sex. You know, a lot of people's ears are like, you know, who knows? Gins, marriages, sex. I think these are the top topics. All right, my next topic is going to be about gins. <laughs> Love you all for the sake of Allah. Check out some of these videos or don't. Go about your day. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out. And by the way, by next time, I mean tomorrow, inshallah.